Hello guys, so welcome back. So I was discussing uh, border disputes, already covered Sir Creek, we covered Gilgil Pakistan, we covered Balochistan. Now very importantly we cover what is left, the Siachen Glacier, okay. Now what is different about this Siachen Glacier that it's a dispute point. We'll try to understand all this, okay, let's start. Now, in uh, 1948, Pak attacked India. Soon, in 1949, there was a Karachi ceasefire agreement where the ceasefire line was drawn. This was a ceasefire line. And later, this ceasefire line was considered to be the line of control. Now, very importantly, this is not an international border. Why? Because international border is one which is accepted by both the parties since this is not accepted by both the parties both the parties claim the complete Jammu and Kashmir to be part of theirs hence this is not an international border okay now first of all why is both the parties are very interested for this piece of land Siachin okay now first of all if Siachin goes to Pak, the Pak will gain the strategic oversight over Ladakh region also over the Karakoram highway which is the considered as the lifeline of the Leh and Ladakh also it will connect the Pakistan with the China Aksai chain so this is the part which is controlling to buy India and hence it's very strategic now the question is how does it became dispute or if the Pakistan was occupying this why didn't it cross to Siachin the answer to this is very simple and it's that uh, this part is glacier okay and uh, the line that is a ceasefire line was drawn up till here only this point this point here and which is this point here and this point on the map is known as NJ9842 so in agreement it was written that beyond NJ9842 thence north to the glacier okay this was written in the CFL the Karachi ceasefire agreement now there are different interpretation of what is dense north to NJ9842 the strategic important importance of Siachin glacier increased exponentially in 1959 and after 1962 when China occupied the Aksai Chin region and Pakistan gave the Sakshgam Valley to, Pakistan, to China. The strategic importance of Siachin Glacier increased exponentially and to which the disputes also, also um, intensified. Now India says that if this is NJ9842, the dense north of NJ9842 is this and the, hence the Siachin Glacier belongs to India. Now what Pakistan says, the dense north to NJ9842 is the, is the Karakoram Highway which goes to this and hence Siachin Glacier belongs to uh, Pakistan. Okay. So this is the point of dispute. Now, it was the Siachin Glacier was demilitarized and disputes diplomatically, and it was diplomatic di dispute only up till 1984. When in 1984 there was no military presence, okay, but the Indian intelligence got the information that Pakistan is going to uh, occupy the Siachin Glacier. Immediately, Operation Meghdoot was started, and with the launch of Operation Meghdoot, immediately the Indian military 
completely occupied all of the Siachen Glacier. With the occupation of Siachen Glacier, it became the highest battlefield from 1984. Okay, now 2,000 lives have been lost since 1984. Ironically, not due to the 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 armor and the gun fight. It was due to the harsh climatic conditions, due to the avalanches, which is the main reason for the loss of the life. Now experts say that India should demilitarize this, Pakistan should demilitarize this zone because it's a huge, it's costing huge ecological damage to the area. So much so that Indian government spends around 6 to 8 crores uh, rupees per day in order to maintain the, the military in Siachen Glacier. To which the Indian India clearly replies that if Pakistan accepts the EGPL line, that is the actual ground position line, then India would deem de But Pakistan uh, is not doing so. And hence, the, the, the Indian military presence is still intact. Now, there was a common understanding that in summer the military would come and in winter the, the military would go down to the plains. But in, during Kargil war, Pakistan's 500 military personnel dressed as the common or the, the tribal military men, you know, occupied this in winters during Kargil war. Now India killed them all and the 500 bodies were offered to Pakistan but Pakistan you know blatantly disowned them okay so this was all about the Siachen glacier hope you understand this thank you